Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in this video we're going to discover the many hidden tips and tricks for your Fire Stick TV or your Fire TV device. These will enhance your experience and make it faster, better and more enjoyable. So let's take a look. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now this first tip is super handy and I'm always using this one. All you need to do is press the microphone button on your remote and you'll come up with a new menu here. And what you get access to is the Smart Home, the Weather app, and if you click on the Smart Home, you'll see you get a whole host of devices that you already own. So it starts with your Smart Home, you've got your cameras, so I've got front door, garden camera, drive camera, you've got your favorites which you can add, and you can also see the details of these individual items. You can switch it off, change the color brightness, change the percentage of the brightness, just all from your Fire Stick, which is pretty amazing. Click over. And then if you go to the top again, you can see your groups that you've created. You can switch on a number of devices all at once, of course. Now if we go up to the top again, you can just narrow it down to just your lights. And as you can see, I've got quite a few lights. And of course, if you go to the top again, we've got plugs. Got a few plugs there as well. And of course, you can see your cameras. Now, you can individually see each of your cameras, your front door, your drive. And if you click on it, it will show you that camera. OK, so this next tip is going to save you some time when you want to get to your favorite apps. It's going to give you quick access to your favorite apps. So you've got this menu bar over here, which has got some apps on it. But did you know you can configure these apps to show your favorite apps? And all you have to do is go into the app section of the menu and go down to My Apps. And there you'll see all your apps and all you have to do is long press on one of them and then it'll say move app to your desired position and press select to save so you can actually change what you see on that shortcut menu at the top on your home screen so i'm going to put this pluto app on the top here and now if i go back to home screen and you can see the pluto is there and you can access it quickly there how cool is that okay so this next one is a quick menu you can access by pressing the home button on your remote control so if you press it now, you'll see it'll come up and you can access your profiles, your apps, sleep the device, you can start mirroring to the device and you can access your settings. So if I quickly go to the first one, profiles, there you go, you can go straight into your profiles, you can add profiles, create profiles or go into that profile in particular. And the next one is apps, you can quickly go to your apps and there you go, we're straight into our apps. And if we click on the sleep, we can put the device to sleep. You click on the next one, it will go into mirroring mode and it will give you instructions on how to access the device through your phone or tablet. And then you can go to your settings also. So it's a quick way to access all your menus. This next one is going to help you out if you're having any problems with your apps, if they're not working, they're laggy, or if they just don't work. All you need to do is go across the menu, go into your settings menu, just like this, go into the cog, go down to applications, Click on that and then go down to manage installed apps and look at the one that's giving you the problems. Let's say it's Amazon Music in this case and then click on the fast rewind button. And what it will say, clear cache and you just confirm. And that's it guys, that should hopefully work and now your app will be working again without any buggy issues. Brilliant. Okay guys, so this next tip is going to cover a problem we've all had. The Fire Stick remote is not responding. Now we've tried everything, we've looked at our settings. But have you checked the battery? To save us from going in and checking the battery manually, what we can do, we can go over to the cog in the settings, go down to remotes and Bluetooth devices, and just select Amazon Fire TV remotes. And from there you can see the battery status, which says, okay, now if the battery did need replacing, it would say replace battery. So that is a very handy tip, saves you some time routing out batteries. Okay guys, as a bonus tip, you know that annoying sound you get when you're navigating around with your remote on the home screen? Well, you can actually turn that off if you just simply go into settings, go down to display and audio, and then just scroll down to audio, and there you go, audio, you can turn off the navigation sounds, turn them on or off. Pretty simple. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give us a like and do consider subscribing for more great content and useful videos, and I might see you in the next one.